Okay, so I am going to review not the ideal camera angle here. I hope you can see me. Not, not that it's the most important thing. I'm gonna talk about Huff season one, a show with Hank Azarian, Oliver Platt, Blythe Danner. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because you know I see myself as a fairly you know, I'm very interested in TV shows and I I know about a lot of TV shows but I just found out about half like a month ago or a month and a half ago and um, it just surprised me that a show that was this good um, would um, not catch my attention until now and with a cast like this too. Um, and it was... Yeah, I just find it very underrated and I haven't heard anyone talk about it, so I just wanted to sort of review it. Anyway, um, this comes off as, like if you look at a couple of pictures here, you sort of get the impression that, um, now I didn't show you the pictures, but whatever. Um, it just it, Well, it just the show sort of just gives out this di kind of different impression than where it actually is, you get sort of get the impression that first of all, it's a, he, he, Hank Azaria plays a psychiatrist, and the plot or the premise is that he, um, he well, he has a patient who shoots himself in his um, in his office, and um, shortly after that, he sort of just loses his mind, or he has this crisis and uh, it just came it just came off the way that um, lots of crazy things would happen and he would he would be totally out of control but he really isn't at all he has this s s s um, minor breakdown in the beginning of the show but then he sort of gets out of it and he's just normal throughout the whole, sh the whole thing pretty much I mean there's difficult things you have to handle like mainly the thing with the kid who shot himself uh, there's a lot of um, like prosecution and and uh, not sure if, you, if, it's, if it's trials but it's um, he has to deal with a lot of legal problems after that uh, with the parents and everything who believes it was his fault and um, and also with um, just just family problems uh, with his wife and son but it it really isn't the way I had imagined it because I, I just had this sort of crazy comedy show in mind with parts of drama, a bit like Californication perhaps, but it's mainly a drama show for sure, with el strong, sure, but elements of comedy, it's not a comedy show, um, that's not what I think anyway, um, but um, yeah, it's, it is very well done, it is very original, very good writing, they, um, they write the dialogue so well. Um, it took me about four episodes to get into the show because the first three, it, the, 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 the problem was mainly what I was talking about that, well, this is nothing like I thought it was going to be, and it's good, but it's just nothing like I thought it was going to be. But then the fourth episode really blew, blew me away when they did that whole le legal thing. When I'm not, I'm not sure the professional term, whatever, like they're sitting in that room and they're having a discussion about how things are gonna go down with this whole shooting accident with the parents and with uh, like an attorney and the prosecutor and whatever. Um, and there the dialogue and the writing was just so good and the acting, it was all so well done. And I knew that from here on it's going to be a terrific show, and it definitely is. Um, 
It is kind of over the top at times, mainly with stuff including Oliver Platt, his character, who by the way is probably the strongest character in the show. Um, he's very good. I, I got into him when I watched The Big C. Uh, that got in. I mean that I, <laughs> I started um, really liking him as an actor in that show, but. Um, He's really, he's really, he's better in Huff, even better. Um, and um, Hank Azaria is also very good and believable as a serious or dramatic character. Uh, I mean, I never think of the fact that he's the one who does the voice to Apu, you know. Um, he very, very good as a rather serious character or serious actor. Um, um, and what else did I want to say? Um, Blythe Danner is um, it's also she's also very good but it took me much longer to sort of get to appreciate her than Oliver Platt and Hank Azaria. But she has these I guess you could call it frowned upon things that she does that uh, I really like that just little small pieces that adds to her character a lot or did the, these small actions she do uh, and I think she has stated sometime that it's at least one of the favorite characters she has played and they, this, this has been made into two seasons and they were gonna develop her character more in later seasons, but then the show got cancelled. Of course, you know. Um, and speaking of that, season two is not on DVD yet, I don't think. Um, if it is, it's ridiculously hard to get. Um, but, um, so I'm not sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try to wait a little bit longer before I get, before I get that. And ho hopefully it will come out on DVD soon. Or eventually, but if it doesn't, I'm just gonna download it and watch it uh, because it had a very good ending. The en ending was, I'm not gonna say what happens, but it sort of had this dark and um, absurd and almost surreal comedic feeling to it. Just all sort of went down there in the ending, the last couple of minutes, and it was just really good. Uh, excellent show. Um, see here. Um, if there is anything else I want to say. Um, you know, more than I just recommend it strongly. Um, but what is her name? Um, oh, what is her name? She was very, she was only in a couple of episodes. She played uh, um, his wife's mom. Um, oh, I know her name. She was in um, Pushing Daisies. Anyway, um, just one with only one eye, I think. Um, anyway, I, I can't believe I can't. I, I forgot her name, but she's very good, also. And um, yeah. I feel like I've missed something, but just all in all, check the show out. Um, it's very good. Um, yeah. So that's all, and um, hope you give it a chance.